Anti-Bailiff Case Law I am sick to death of bailiffs putting their foot in the door then calling the police when people slam the door on them, then claiming assault. Get a Crown Prosecution against them. If a bailiff refuses to leave the property after being requested to do so or starts trying to force entry, then he is causing a disturbance, Howell v. Jackson 1834 6 C and P 723. But it is unreasonable for a police officer to arrest the bailiff unless he makes a threat, Bibby v. Constable of Essex 2000 Court of Appeal April 2000. If the entry is peaceful but without permission then a request to leave should always be made first. Tula V. Reed 1823 1 CNP or an employee or other person can also request the bailiff to leave, Hall v. Davis 1825 2 CNP 33 A person having been told to leave is now under a duty to withdraw from the property with all due reasonable speed and failure to do so he is not thereafter acting in the execution of his duty and becomes a trespasser with any subsequent levy made being invalid and attracts a liability under a claim for damages, Morris v. Beardmore 1981 CR App 256. If a person strikes a trespasser who has refused to leave is not guilty of an offense, Davis v. Lyle 1936 2 KB 434. Vaughn v. McKenzie 1969 1 QB 557 If the debtor strikes the bailiff over the head with a full milk bottle after making a forced entry, the debtor is not guilty of assault because the bailiff was there illegally. Likewise E.V. Tucker at Hove Trial Center Crown Court, December 2012 If the debtor gives the bailiff a good slap, 